Are we in a bull market right now? Look at this for Bitcoin and for stocks. Is this the start of a new bull market? Has the market already bottomed? My answers will surprise you. So Bitcoin is almost at 30K, it's at 29K, but is it still possible that the stock market and Bitcoin are still in a bear market and this was all just a big bounce up? I'm not expecting it to make new all-time highs. I think this is a big bounce or you could call it a mini bull, can get to high 20s, low 30s, or even into the 40s. You can go back and check out that video and see why I made that prediction and how clear I was with that prediction because there are a lot of dickheads who always like to argue for argument's sake, when really it's just they have lost a lot of money and they're pissed off with themselves. They just need someone to blame. <laughs> the reasons why I have been saying to buy the dip for the last two and a half month and that it's gonna be a big bounce or even a small bull is because I've been saying that the liquidity into the US markets are gonna be conducive to markets going up next few months. So first of all, the Fed has been doing QT but then they suddenly reverse and start doing QE. Well, you may not call that QE, but there's certainly a lot of US dollar liquidity coming into the markets. So in the weeks going forward, in the weeks or even a couple of months going forward, it's still looking good for markets to rally more. Another factor I looked at in that video with my prediction was that the Chinese central bank was also pumping money. So here was the 2020 COVID bottom and here's their new money pump into the markets. And Many people ignore this, but China is the second largest central bank in the world. Their pump has a lot to do with the Bitcoin pump. So that was reason number two. And reason number three was the US Treasury. See, they're trying to lift the US debt ceiling, as we all know, from 31 trillion to something like crazy, 51 trillion. But in order to do that, the Democrats are gonna have a hard time, as I've said in the old video. Basically, the Republicans are gonna try to negotiate hardball against them. The only way the Democrats have a chance of actually getting that money or getting that debt ceiling lifted is if they spend everything they have now in the Treasury. Do you remember during Bill Clinton's time and during Bush's time and you know they actually closed down the US government for something like 15 days. They literally ran out of money. So <clears throat> both parties are trying to play a game of chicken by spending all the money they have in the US Treasury account. And then that forces the Republicans to say yes we will approve and lift the debt ceiling, which means more money coming into the US. And here is the US Treasury general account. So we see that it's gone from almost a trillion dollars down to less than $200 billion. And they need to, Jenna Yellen, the treasurer of the United States, needs to drive that down to pretty much zero and shut down the US government for something like two, three weeks in order to play hardball. That's what they do every time to negotiate against the Republicans or, or whoever is on the opposition. But you see, by doing that, they're just forcing all that money back into the economy. They're just spending all that money. That's liquidity into the economy, into the markets, and that's why this number, reason number three for markets to rally and continue to do so for another a few weeks or even a couple of months. Of course, in the short term, Bitcoin can pull back first, but it's probably a small pullback to something like from 29K to 25K. That's always, there's always the likelihood or possibility for that. I am not saying it won't pull back. What I am saying is, because of the three reasons I've shown you above, there's a good chance that Bitcoin will be in the 30s in a few weeks from now, right? In two to six weeks from now, there's a good chance Bitcoin will be somewhere in the 30s. But we might have a small pullback first. So there are a lot of dumb idiots who say, you say up and down. It's very simple. What I'm saying is probably down a little bit first, pullback, then up. Do you get it? or are you not smart enough to understand basic English? Similarly, the NASDAQ also looks bullish for me here. See, this is the QQQ or the um, NASDAQ ETF. It's holding support at 318. I think it'll pull back a little bit, bounce off, say somewhere in the low 300s, and then keep going and continue this rally in the next few weeks. So those are for the next few weeks. But what about the next few months, say end of 2023 or early 2024? As I've said in my previous couple of videos that I think Bitcoin can still reach the 12 to 15K area again, or maybe even lower if there's a bad recession. And I analyzed, in this video I analyzed from two days ago, that there is still quite a big chance for Bitcoin to hit 12K to 15K again, because US could be going to a recession sometime later this year. Overall, the best way to see how my predictions work is to go back to those videos and watch it for yourself. So usually people just wait for the 
social media platform to recommend them a video once every three weeks or four weeks, and then they miss all the videos in between. They're like, oh, he didn't predict this, or he got this wrong or got that wrong. Well, if you're in my Discord, or if you're on Twitter, and follow me on other social media, and you watch my, what my predictions say all the time, you find that I've been surprisingly accurate. The wrong ones are never deleted. Even the wrong ones are still up there on all my social media. If you wanna blame someone for losing money, blame yourself, buddy. <laughs>